Lords and Kings and with magical things from the past. A thousand of tales! A thousand of tales! With treasures so vast! And for us to fly through the air! And your buns, lawyers, and beggars, and tramps! War readers, heroes, and villains, and champs! Histories and mysteries and magical and A mermaid of her cutlass ear And she needs to just my own ear So gather round children and hear A thousand of lights We're all set, your highness. The guests will be here at eight. Well? I won't be. But it's a state dinner! You're the king, you have to be here! Majid, how many guest places do you see at that table? Twelve? Right! Which makes me number thirteen! Um, pardon me, my lord. Where would you like us to put this lantern and instrument? Over there! What are you talking about, sire? Thirteen is an unlucky number. And I'm not taking any chances. Wrong. <laughs> a ladder, a black cat, and a broken mirror? I'm going to have bad luck for sure. Your Majesty, you don't need to be afraid of those things. They don't bring bad luck. Better safe than sorry. I mean, what can it hurt, right? Let me tell you about a small town that was filled with superstitious people and the little boy that taught them all an important lesson. Did you see that, Dad? Isn't it amazing? What would amaze me is if you actually did your chores, Omar. But aren't they busy? Look. How is this useful? Maybe if we made a big one, it could cool us off in this heat. The other boys in this village are learning valuable skills. Shoeing horses, mending fences, digging wells. And here you are, wasting your time with useless contraptions. What's this? It's a book I borrowed. It's all about adventure. Did you know that at the top of the world, the sun shines all day? <sighs> we don't live at the top of the world, Omar. We live right here, where the sun goes down every night. And that's the way it's always been. Now get to work. After finishing his chores, Omar accompanied his father to see the town's most respected elder. Oh, Zubin, please, you must help me. I can't see to read anymore. Mix an owl's egg with a cricket and a peacock feather. This will cure you. Oh, thank you. I can help. Here, look through this. I can see it perfectly. What is this? Things look different through water. See? Useless black magic. Do as I say if you want your eyes to get better. Now go! I'm sorry, Zubin. My son didn't mean to be disrespectful. What do you want? Our crops. They need rain. <laughs> How can mixing an owl's egg with a cricket and a peacock feather improve someone's eyesight? I don't know, son. But some things we were not meant to know. But Omar wanted to know. The next day, he went to see Raza, the old lady. Hello? What's that on your eyes? An owl egg mixed with a cricket and a peacock feather? Oh. I brought this for you. It's amazing. It'll help you to read. Who did this? Who untied this donkey? I did. What's the matter with you, boy? Are you slow-witted? What? Don't you know that tying a donkey's legs together is how you make it rain? Everyone knows that. That's silly. Uh, People have been doing it for centuries. You 
have made the rain clouds very angry. They may not give us rain ever again. Magic! It set my book on fire! What did? This magic stick he gave me! More black magic! Oh, no, no, no. It's not magic. It's just a magnifying... First you prevent the rain, now you create fires. No, you don't understand. Silence! You do no more harm here. You're not welcome in this town anymore, boy. Go! Right. Go! Omar felt terrible that he had shamed his family. He decided that everyone would be better off if he wasn't around. So he slipped off into the night and ran away into the mountains. Tying a donkey's legs together. How ridiculous is that? And there's no such thing as magic either. <gasps> Are you rubbing that lamp? A magic genie? I didn't think there was such a thing as genies. I'm not a genie. And that's my lamp. Give it back. I'm Nazim. Who are you? Omar. What was that explosion? Oh, a little experiment of mine. Oh, come on. I'll show you. Charcoal, sulfur, and potassium nitrate. They call it gunpowder. <laughs> Tricky stuff. What's this? Ah, it took me eight months to build that. <laughs> Tea? Omar spent the week with Nazim, learning all kinds of new things. I can't believe it! You've lived in this cave for 30 years? Well, I used to live in a town like you, but I was banished here. Why? Because of these. Oh. Here. Your journal? It's yours now. Hey! Why don't you come back with me? Show everyone your discoveries! No, no. My day is past. This is my home now. You show them. The next morning, he set off back down the mountain. <sighs> when he got home, his father wasn't there. So he headed into town to find him. How long do we have to do this for, Zubin? <gasps> you! You were told to stay away! What are you doing? You see? This... That's why it hasn't rained. You're throwing sand into the air? That won't make it rain. Look, I have this book. Hey, get that back! More black magic. Evil spells. Destroy it! Leave the boy alone! Nassim? Give him the book, Zoen. You two know each other? I told you never to come back here. Wait a minute. You mean he's the one who banished you? I'm not letting him put you in a cave for 30 years. So that's where you've been all this time. And this is what you've been doing. No! <gasps> Evil spells! Destroy it! Turn it! Yes! Hey, what are you doing? Give me that book! Maybe it's time we start reading these instead of burning them. This book is full of lies! How do you know if you never read it? Zubin can talk to the clouds! That's right! Oh, that's a lot of nonsense! No, no, no. Disbelieve us! We are the reason there is no water! Well then, I guess we'll just have to fix that, won't we? Using this! Huh? What's that? Charcoal, sulfur, and potassium nitrate! What? Gunpowder! You see? Can you make it 
rain too? No, but Zubin says he can. So you can stand here all day and throw sand with him if you like. Wait! Come back! Don't listen to him! I'm your leader! You can still make it rain! Oh, all you have to do is, is, is hop up and down on one leg! Ready? Ready! Thank you! Welcome home. It's going to feel strange not living in a cave anymore. Oh, you're so brilliant and handsome. But I'll get used to it. So you see, superstitions can make people do some pretty silly things. Majid, set a place for me at dinner tonight. Yes, your majesty! No silly superstition is going to keep me away. <laughs> you be there too. That way we'll have 14. Right. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have something I need to do. What? I have to go untie a donkey's legs. Osnos.com is a video platform that immerses kids in new languages and different cultures the fun way. On Osnos, kids can watch shows from all over the world, plus shows they love like Sid the Science Kid, Paw Patrol, Barney, and the award-winning 1001 Nights in over 10 languages, including Mandarin, French, Arabic, Persian, German, English, and Spanish. In addition to streaming online, you can download your favorite shows onto your iPad or other mobile devices to watch on the go. Osnos is completely ad-free, and shows on Osnos are curated to teach social-emotional skills so the platform is fun, educational, and safe. At Osnos, we believe every kid can be a world citizen. Osnos.com, the best kids' shows from around the world in 10 different languages.